So, welcome. And this time we have our segment which is called the Info Center where we give you latest news on cars that are either being released, have been released, or just information that you really need to know in the motoring industry. So today we're going to focus on two cars. That is the Audi Q7 2017 and the Mercedes G-Wagon. This is the 4x4 squared automobile. What can I say about the Audi Q7 2017? It's become more handsome, but not prettier than the outgoing model of the very same Q7. But I may say that it looks kind of good with the straight lines, no curves at it as the existing model, that is the 2016 or the 2015 Q7. And um, this particular model features a 333 horsepower supercharged V6 engine, which puts it on the level of the Maserati Levante and the Jaguar F-Pace. And also the 0 to 100 km sprint, it will do it in a 5.2 second impressive time, which also, I might say, puts it in the same league as the Subaru WRX and also the Volkswagen R Golf, which both of them are the 2015 models. Now, this car also has a very impressive high-tech cabin and will be released this year. So I'm sure very, very many Kenyans will be excited to actually buy this car. And for those who will be lucky enough to afford them, please give us a feedback. And if you think you can also give us the car so that we can, you know, review it, we'll appreciate it. And also a very impressive feature that this car has is the four-wheel drive system and a four-wheel drive steering system. For more information, go to our Facebook page so that you know what I'm talking about. This is when also the back wheels can move a little bit to help with the stability and cornering. And the competitors for this car include the Volvo XC90, Mercedes-Benz GLS, the Acura MDX, Land Rover Disco 4, Infiniti QX60, Lexus GX, and the Lincoln MKT. That's some serious competitors right there. But you know what? I think Audi can pull it off. Maybe not off-road, but a bit of a bit of off-road and a lot on on-road. <laughs> The Mercedes Benz G500 4x4 squared wagon. This guy is a beast. It is a beast. <sighs> Competitor Akeni Land Rover Range Vogue. This is a very serious car that you should take seriously. And for guys who have ranches in Kenya, I will propose that you should consider buying this car because it is um, fully off-road capable and on-road as well. The height is a little bit high, but nonetheless, it provides you with that, you know, option to just go and abuse the off-road capability. At the same time, Ukitoka, you go for a meeting and you still look executive. So, man, it's a win-win situation. Now, um, the crazy thing about this car, it is um, a V8 engine that has a 416 horsepower and a 450 pound feet of 
stock rating. That is insane. The only thing that comes close to that is also the Bentley Bentayga, of which the Bentley in Ashinda in top speed, but will catch up with it at the 300 kilometers per hour mark. Now, the Mercedes-Benz company has said that if you are to go to 300 kilometers per hour, make sure you remove the all the big tires and fit in small ones so that you don't end up flying or taking off on the highway. Now, also another thing that you should know about this car is that it can sprint from 0 to 100 in 5.7 seconds. That is really impressive considering how big this car is. Now the competitors for this car, like I said, includes the, the Land Rover Vogue, the Range Sport, the Lincoln Navigator, Cadillac Escalade, Infiniti QX800, Toyota Land Cruiser, and the Lexus XLX, sorry. And to top it off, it has a seven-speed gearbox with an AMG engine, so you can be assured that this car is not something you want to take lightly. And that's it for our information center. If you want more information about what we talked about today, please follow us on Facebook, Talk TV Motor Show. And also, if you want to see this video as well as other previous videos, please remember to log in or go and view it in YouTube and search Talk TV Kenya, where you can find a lot of videos of what we do. Also, please remember to subscribe and like. Otherwise, I am done with this segment. Let's move on to the next.